in uh, Israel, the uh, number of vaccines is such that I think they're just experimenting with regular life now. You can go anywhere, do whatever. <laughs> regular. But I think you do need a passport. Is that correct? Yeah, there's an I article. remember right. The New York Times printed an article a few weeks ago <clears throat> that caught my eye. And uh, basically saying, if you want to participate in society... You'll, you'll be vaccinated. You'll be vaccinated. Otherwise, you're going to get left behind. Yeah. Whoever doesn't vaccinate will be left behind, according to this, uh, this article. Israel has raced ahead with the fastest COVID vaccination campaign in the world. So they've inoculated already almost half their population with at least one dose. There's, I think, 9 million in Israel, so that's 4.5 million people. Now the rapid rollout is turning the country into a live laboratory for setting the rules in a vaccinated society. Scary. <clears throat> Raising the thorny questions about rights, obligations, and the greater good. Netanyahu's, Netanyahu's cabinet voted this week to open shopping malls and museums to the public, subject, uh, subject to social distancing rules, of course. Oh, of course. And mandatory masking, of course. Of course, of course. Yes, yes. Wait, I... I, I mean, seriously. What is the vaccine for? Then? What's the point, right? <laughs> seriously, if we can't go to a museum without a mask mm-hmm. and staying six feet apart, why are we getting the vaccine? Because that's the same life we lived prior to being vaccinated. There's no sense in that. <laughs> I don't think. What, what are you doing? If, if this isn't so that you can be mask-free now... Right. What's the point? What is the stinking point? Yeah. I mean, and, and I love the thing going around mm. the internet that says, you know, imagine a vaccine so safe you have to be blackmailed into taking it for a virus so deadly you have to be tested to even know you have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But for the first time in many months, gyms, cultural and sports events, hotels, swimming pools are reopening. But only for some. Well, then. You must have the green badge. Mm. It's a system that functions as both a carrot and a stick. The government's making leisure activities accessible only to people who are fully vaccinated or uh, recovered starting on Sunday. Two weeks later, restaurants, event halls, and conferences will be allowed to operate under those rules. Customers and attendees will have to carry a certification of vaccination with a QR code. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And and if you think there would be any society <sighs> so that, that might not think carrying around identification and a, a badge. badge, you think if there's any country it on would, this planet, it would be a, a country filled with Jewish people. Yeah. Look, look at look at this video that was sent our way of uh, people trying <clears throat> to get into a grocery store, presumably here in Israel. Look at this. They got the checkpoint right out front, Pat. Look at that. Oh, let me check. Check your papers. Okay, let me check that. Okay, now you get a little green badge to go in and shop. Aww. So it's in full operation. Yeah, because that article's a few weeks ago. They're really and doing now, it. And now it's happening. They are really doing it. Yep. See? They're picking their nose and chewing it. <laughs> I don't know that that's... I mean, this is worse than picking your nose and chewing it. Uh-huh. This is, let, this oh, is show, may I see your papers, please? That's what this is. Israel. Israel. Yeah. Israel. Are you awake? No. The answer is just no, they're not. And if you I mean, don't if you think. You can't see the irony in Israel right, in this. Right. If you don't think that's coming here. Good. Gosh, so I've been no, telling my kids for six months. Your world's no, about to get a lot smaller. And it's no, already it's happened not. right there in Israel. You want to go shopping? You better get vaccinated and be one of us. And he's saying, yeah, this sucks. Something. Is he, though? Is he saying it sucks or it's great? Because now at least I can get out of the house. Mm -hmm. Christmas. I don't. Wow. Christmas. By Christmas. That's America. In many places, if not the entire nation. That's, That's chilling. And again, didn't eliminate the mask. Doesn't eliminate the social distancing. You're doing all the same crap. All the same stuff. And you're all vaccinated. Brother. What's it for? <laughs> what are you doing it for? I can't. I, don't I can't believe do. it. I seriously can't <laughs> believe it. I mean, I I knew this was going to be strange and ironic and irritating and limiting. Mm. I, I just, I didn't think it would be this ridiculous. Mm. It just it gets worse. No matter what happens. Uh, 2021 
just keeps getting worse.